I always thought, why me? Like, why did this happen to me? Everything was starting to go my way and I was getting ready to make my big break. Lyra native Todd Krieg was among the best motocross riders in the nation. I would give anything to be able to ride again. Racing was Todd's passion. Throughout a 15 year period, he amassed more than 200 trophies and plaques. But in a moment, it all ended. Went off of a jump and I had a bike malfunction and I had a crash. In October of 2014, Todd became paralyzed from the chest down. And so I broke my T3 and T4 vertebrae, and then I broke both my collarbones, I broke 11 ribs, I had a hematoma in my chest, I had severe bleeding in my eye. He lost a lot, including his career and the chance to find love, or so he thought. I always thought that everyone would see me for my injury. Um, and that people would kind of feel bad for me and stuff like that. Recovering, that's all he thought about. Nothing else mattered. All I wanted to do was walk, get back up on my feet. That is, until he met Amanda, one of his therapists at a facility in California. Told her that I had the hots for her and how I thought she was so beautiful and stuff. And then we started talking or started dating shortly after that. Inhale. Happy <laughs> They fell in love. And then, a baby? Usually people with spinal cord injuries, they have to do like in vitro or you know some sort of medical assistance in order to get pregnant. But we had no idea that it would be able to happen naturally. The pregnancy announcement was seen by millions. We went a lot more viral than we thought it would. We figured it would just be a good laugh between friends and family. Now, Rhett, their son, Say, is here. And Todd knows why his life took the turns that it did. Looking back, it's pretty clear that that's the reason why it happened. Because if I would have never gotten injured, I would have never met Amanda and we would have never had Rhett. <laughs> Having Rhett has opened my eyes up and taught me that there's so much more to life than just racing. Get it? But now the question is, what's next? Do you consider your life a happily ever after? I don't think it's happily ever after yet. I still think that there's a lot more to go. Even so, <laughs> As a family, they're riding in the right direction. No matter the obstacles, like you can find a way to overcome something. What are you going there for? Yeah. It's not always gonna be easy, but you can make it work. And be happy. Exactly, and be happy. Get him, get him. Oh, here we go, ready? Tell him, ba-ba-ba. Say, ah. Uh... <laughs>